asexual reproduction in plants. We know no living organism is immortal. Given this reality, have you ever wondered how vast number of plants and animal species have existed on earth for several thousands of years? There must be some process in living beings that ensure continuity. Yes, and that is reproduction. Reproduction is a biological process in which an organism gives rise to young ones similar to itself. Each organism has evolved in its own mechanism to multiply and produce offspring. Based on whether there is participation of one organism or two, we can discuss two types of reproduction, asexual and sexual. The asexual type is when a single individual is capable of producing an offspring. This forms the exact copies of their parents. The sexual type is when there is a formation of special cells called gametes, male and female from the same organism or different with the opposite sex. Because fusion of male and female gametes is involved, offspring are not identical to parents. Let's discuss asexual modes of reproduction in plants. Some simple plants form special structures, like zoospores, which later each one grows into an organism. Most common is growing plants by vegetative propagation. Vegetative parts of plants like the stem, roots, and leaves are capable of giving rise to new plants. Here are some examples. We can grow dahlia and sweet potato by roots, ginger and potato by stem, bryophyllum by leaves. Grafting is a technique of the artificial way of growing plants in an asexual way. One plant is selected for its roots and this is called the stalk or rootstock. The other plant is selected for its stems, leaves, flowers or fruits and is called the scion. For successful grafting to take place, the vascular cambium tissues of the stalk and scion plants must be placed in contact with each other. Layering is a means of plant propagation in which a portion of an aerial stem grows roots while still attached to the parent plant and then detaches as an independent plant. An example is jasmine. Till now, we have been discussing asexual mode of reproduction. Let's see how plants reproduce sexually.